Hi everyone, it's Anna from Scraps of Beauty and it is Wednesday night and if you're watching over on YouTube, this is a live show recorded over on Ustream.tv where I stream every Sunday and Wednesday night. Now usually Wednesday, this Wednesday we were supposed to do the mini album but I didn't get a chance to work on my mini album so we are going to um, try these new paints that I got from Prima from Finnebar, the... Um, patina we might play and I got her new tubes of paint um, some other stuff to show so if you don't care about uh, seeing people's haul or whatever fast forward this might not be the stream for you tonight because I'm just testing paint so we'll see um, yep all right so then I have some let me put this aside just checking the chat for a second all right so I was at Michael's today and they had these cute little um, stencils from folk art of course I had to get the little fairy so it was $2.99 and you got three little stencils so you got the fairy the mushroom and then like a fairy door so you can see that there there's a fairy door and then some mushrooms I thought this was perfect for ATC's I thought you know if I want to do ATC that this would be really cute yeah I saw that Jean yeah all right, hold on a minute. My uh, chat is way behind here. There we go. All right, back up. I didn't say hello. <laughs> All right, so welcome everyone to Kane. Thanks for spending your Sunday night. If you're watching over on YouTube, thanks for watching. So like I said, we're just going to be playing with Finn's new paints tonight. I did get some of her Mega. These are her Mega Art Stones. So you can see they're a lot bigger than her little ones. <laughs> So we might add some of those on to I was going to do a canvas, but I just didn't have time to get everything together. So I think we're just going to do an art journal page and play around with it there. <laughs> you love? Oh, good, Trina. Good. Um, so this is some of her alchemy paints. So this one is called Sparks. You can see that there. And I thought I had the unicorn one, which I don't see. Where is it? No. Pink. Wampon, Mermaid, nope, I didn't get that one. This one is called, oh yeah, this one is called Unicorn, I thought so, Unicorn Hair. This one is a Unicorn Hair, it's like a silvery gold. And then this one is Fairy Wings, you can see the green and the gold in that. I'm sure Jean and Eileen love this one. What are the stones used for? You know, like her microbeads, it's just to add texture onto um, the canvas. Have, have you seen her do, like, have you seen me use the little micro beads? Well, they have other, she has other beads, little tiny ones. I think like a medium size, so now these are the large ones. So it's just something else new. This one is called uh, Mermaid Sparkle. I love that one. Mermaid Sparkle. And then this one is Magical Pond. And then I had a dark navy blue one that was supposed to come, but it's back ordered. So, so we're going to play with those for sure. I did. Now, if you don't want to look at stamps, Eileen. <laughs> so, I've shown you this one before, but I figure we're going to do some type of sea theme. So, the fish. This is uh, Carabella, happy as a fish. You've used the micro beads. Well, it's the same thing, but it's just bigger now. This is one of the new ones. This one's called Loving Thoughts. It says plant loving thoughts and watch them bloom. That's one of the new ones. I love the little tiny butterflies. They did get some, they just put out some new ones. I think I ordered like four or five. Uh, they have a mermaid coming, so I'm looking forward to that. And so that's all my, those are the only two new ones that I got. <laughs> but I figured I'd pull these out so in case we used um, mermaid. I got some of this one. I've shown you guys these before. Designed by Ray, Ray, Rain. <laughs> the sea turtle will probably use that one. Maybe we'll use this one. Sudsy stuff. The background. And of course, Eileen. <laughs> this one. Dare to swim. I love this one. Alright. So now these are fins. So let me move these stamps out of the way. So we're going to probably use these. I gotta find a little somewhere to put these so I can have them. Hold on. Get them over here. Nope. I'm just looking for a 
a bin, hopefully a bin that I can still in now. You love, is it Rye or Rain? How is her name? You love her stamps? Yeah, I have a couple of them. I don't have a lot, but I have a couple. Oh, and then I got this. This is her um, paste, the patina effect paste. So this is the blue. And then it came in, what is this got to talk about? Oops. This is the mint green. You can see that one in mint green. That's the blue, that's the mint green. And then this, the brass, which is kind of more like copper, I think. So you can see that color there. So, so I don't know if we'll play with these tonight, but we're definitely going to play with Finn's um, uh, paints. Right, so let me put that. Oops. Put that over there. Raindrops and water. Yeah, rain. I think, I don't know if I, I might have the raindrops. I think I have one of her mermaids. All right, so we're going to just work in Jane's book. We'll do that. And then these are the stencils that I got from iStencils. So you can see this one's a mermaid. I wish they would have given us the cutouts of the mermaid tails. I don't know why they didn't. That would have been nice. I mean, they're probably just throwing them away anyway, unless they're putting them in another bag. But I would have loved to have the, the cutouts of the tails. So that's one. I think they came out with four new ones. See, like on this one, they included them. So I just don't know why they didn't include them in that. But this is the whole mermaid. It's probably hard to see. This one here. And then this one. So if I pop these out, you'll be able to see. I need little scissors to cut these. Where did I get thin stuff? Um, the girl that I teach at her store, she um, placed an order and she um, got them for me from Notions. She orders from Notions and that's where I got them. I'm trying to think of who has them right now. I think uh, maybe Blue Moon. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if Joggles has them. I know they're just recently out. And these paints are made in um, Hungary. So they're not made in China. They are made in Hungary. So that was a, a surprise. Nice surprise. So this was nice because you get the mask and you get the stencil part. So, see, so there's that mermaid and then you get this part of the mermaid, which is nice. So I'm going to stop that one. And I love this one. This one's really pretty with her hair and the flowers. So let's cut this one out. Yeah, I did have a busy day today. Yep. I'm trying to get ready for a garage sale this weekend at school, at our local schools, having a garage sale. So I had to do that. I had to go for um, my exercise this morning. Not this morning, this afternoon. Then I had to go to the store, which is like 35 minutes away, pick up the paints, <laughs> then come back, eat dinner. And then go to the meeting and then come back here. <laughs> That's why I didn't have any time to work on the mini album. <laughs> just like, it's just busy, busy, busy today. I wish they make these tabs just a little bit bigger. There we go. So now you can see that one. <clears throat> that one's really pretty. So, which is nice. They are a little pricey. So, you get two, and then you get three, four, five, six, plus all those others. So, and this is, these are from Stencil Girl. Now, for those of you who follow Patty, Patty is Inky Obsession here on Ustream, also on YouTube. And next Wednesday, I believe it's next Wednesday, the 22nd to the 26th, she is going to have her stencils she's going to be showing her stencils and i'm sending her the new paints finnabar's new paints so she's going to use uh finn's paints on her jelly plate with her new design 
So she'll have um, a coupon code, of course, which is good not just for her stencils, but for any stencils that are on eye stencils. And I forget how it goes. I think you get 20 or 25% off. And then if you order one of hers, you get a free one. So make sure you check her out next week. I will be teaching on Thursday, so I will not be able to be there. I'll have to watch the recording. But she, um, she always does a nice job when she does her stencils. And it'll be fun to see these, um, since these are heavy body paints, it'll be fun to see them on how they work on the jelly plate. So, all right, so we have our three stencils. We have that. Oh, take your electric cutter and make a mask, and you won't. Oh, that's good. No, as long, no, I won't. Right. Yeah, that's a good idea, Trina. <laughs> you were busy today watching Jean swatching all day. I didn't get a chance to see that yet. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so we have that, and we have this. All right, so there are 15 paints in all. So you know they have. She has her common white, black, and brown. <clears throat> Before I show you that, though, um, did you see these from Deco Arts? They came up with this premium. It's called a pre their premium paint, which is like a step up from their craft paint. Um, it's not not quite artist grade but I guess it's in between artist grade and the craft paint but what's nice is you see they're in the small tubes so um, they're not the big tubes this is only 2. Point, well this says 2.5 too isn't that weird I guess it's because it's fatter well that's strange I thought this was gonna be a lot smaller but anyway these are at Michaels and you can find them for $2.99 a tube which I thought was reasonable and if you wanted to go in there and use a coupon every time you bought one, you know, 50% off, so you're getting them for $1.50. So, so we'll see how those work. Um, but like I said, I think Dee Dee um, would be the one to, um, then I'm talking about Dee Dee here on, um, she's Inkwell here on Ustream and YouTube. She loves the Americana, and so she would be able to um, really tell you what the difference is. I mean, I'm not that first on paint. So, of course, we have the white. I'm sure you see that. Happy mail. Oh, seven hours. <laughs> yeah. I sent your paints, Jean, so you should be getting them, I would think, either Saturday or Monday. So make sure to check. Um, this one's called Lemon Peel. It's a really bright, bright yellow. Bright yellow. This one is called Pumpkin. And it's a lot brighter than what you, can, what you see on the screen. Like this, it's really bright. I don't know why... Why doesn't it show the true color? But it's a lot darker than that, that's for sure. <clears throat> Do they come in all colors? The craft paint? Yes. American, um, this one, Deco Art. Um, yes, they had everything. They had copper, they had gold, silver. They even had white gesso and black gesso. <laughs> yeah, right, Jean, three weeks, so maybe not. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you didn't? Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, but every color you can imagine, they had a lot. They had a lot of different colors, and like I said, the white gesso. I didn't. I forgot to look to see if they had matte medium, but they did have white and black gesso. So, so yeah, just check in your Michaels. Um, that's where I got those. And if Michaels has them, probably Hobby Lobby has them too, I bet. This one is called Poppy Red. Um, this one's crimson. So, of course, we're going to use the blue ones tonight. This one is called Arbergine. It's like a purplish. You can see the difference between this one's Heather. So, this is a lighter and this one's darker. Um, here's the green for you girls. This is bottle green and this is jade. So, you can see the two different colors there. And this is a lot darker. This is like grass green. I don't know why this is showing up so light. It's so weird. It's really dark, like a grass green. Um, here is cobalt and teal. Oh, no, cobalt and azure. So you can see that, cobalt and azure. And then, of course, pink, which you girls won't love, but I love this. This is raspberry pink. It's like a 
hot pink, kind of like a dark bubblegum pink, raspberry pink. <laughs> but I didn't get this at Michael's. This was an order I had at the store that I teach at, Jean. Here's a green for you guys, too. Green uh, green apple. Now, it looks yellow on the screen, but it's like a lime green. Lime green. <laughs> and then, of course, the black and then the brown. So we'll keep the black out. Uh, we're going to go, oops, with a C theme. So we'll use the blues, greens, not the yellow. We might use a little bit of this hot pink. I'm going to try that. Not the red. Yeah, the pink is pretty. I'm going to keep that with that. All right, so we're going to play around with these tonight. Let's see how that works. <laughs> oh well. Oh, and of course, girls didn't remind me. What did you forget? <laughs> My bottle's in a glove. Gloves in a bottle. <laughs> so next Wednesday is regular time. This meeting that I go to is like every other Wednesday for like the next, I don't know, six or eight weeks. So. So next Wednesday, we'll work on the mini album, and then the following Wednesday, we'll probably do something like this, where I can just um, jump in and do something. So we'll see. See how it goes. And remember, no stream on Sunday. It's Father's Day here in the U.S. So no stream Sunday. All right. So let me put these paints to the one side so we can get going. So I would have liked to sketch what I wanted to do um, tonight, but <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I got my brushes. Hi, Kia. <laughs> and I have my Jane Davenport book. So we're going to just find a page in here. I love this page, the Mermaid Tail. That was fun. So, let's see. I want to get kind of in the middle so I can get back and forth. Oh, this is the one that we did on Sunday. So, I did add the paint bottles. I didn't paint them or anything. And this is with the um, Tim Holtz uh, new Distress Oxides. I love them. If they come out with the uh, new colors, I'll definitely get them. I like them a lot better than Distress Inks, let's say, anyway. And this was with Patty's stencils. Um... Her little art ones, the palette, and the paintbrushes. So that was fun. And this was Andrea Gamal's little playgirl, art playgirl. Like you did anything today, should be ready. <laughs> Jeez, Jean. <laughs> All right. So what I really wanted to do, well, let me see what we can do here. Let's put these mermaids over here. I don't know if I could sketch it really quick, but yeah, thanks, Eileen. Thanks. Turn that good. Hi, Leanne. <laughs> All right. So I was on Pinterest um, the other day. Uh, let's see. I really want to do this, but I don't see what time it is. If you guys don't mind being a little bit later. Um, okay. So here's Patty's thing. So Patty says her sale is from the 22nd through the 26th. It's a 20% coupon. With a free mask with any $25 purchase, which includes one of her designs, and free domestic shipping over $50. So, um, and it's good, the 20% is good on anything on eye stencils. You just don't have to, you know, the coupon's good for anything besides patty stuff. All right, so. I really love, I want to do this. Can you see it? It's a seahorse unicorn. <laughs> so. I think we'll put maybe a mermaid on this side and the seahorse on this side. So it's got all those green and blacks. Can you see that? And this was by, I wish I could read the name. It looks like it says Rob H. And it was done in 2000, it looks like 2009. But that's the reference I'm using. And I got this off of um, Pinterest. So we'll see if we can um, draw that on there. I'm looking for a pencil. <laughs> of course. Where's my pencil? So I did find my black stabilo, so we got that. Um, Alright. 
It's really pretty, isn't it? Yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, I love that. And I love all the big flowers on there. So either I'll put flowers on there or maybe we'll make flowers on there. And then we'll decide what kind of, maybe we'll have all kinds of mermaids on this side. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so let's see if we can sketch this one out. So let's see. And I'm doing it light, so you probably can't see. Let me bring you in a little bit more. Um, but I'm doing it light, so you're probably not going to be able to see it right away. Hold on there. Let me move this up. Move this here so you can see. What's up in the way there? There we go. All right. So, let's see. Hmm. And then he has a little unicorn thing here. You can see? You barely can see. So you have to just be patient. Just fast forward if you're watching over there on uh, YouTube till I get it sketched out. Alright. And then this is all flowers up in here. I just want to get mostly so we don't get too much of the white. You see, you can't really see, so just be patient. <laughs> like I said, just fast forward. Hmm, so let's see, we have that. He comes in. And then there'll be big flowers like here. There'll be a flower here. Oh, we need the fin. So let's see. There we go. Can you barely see it? You can barely see it, right? <laughs> what happened? Alright, so we have that, we have that, and it's got cute little pearls on there. We need the little eye. Alright, so that looks pretty cute. I mean, it's not bad. I think this needs to come... That way more. Ah! Got some green stuff on there. I need an eraser. Going to use flowers. I'm either going to use flowers or we're going to try to make flowers. So I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so let's see. That is big flowers. It seems to me like this part should be bigger. And this. And it's got these cute little circles on the back part. There. So, all right, so, and then it's got a big flower here, one big flower here, so we'll add the flowers on there. And then this whole headdress up here has got big giant flowers. I'm going to have to do this a little bit. At least we have an idea anyway. And I probably should have just sewed the page first, <laughs> but oh well. All righty. So let's see. And then I don't know what I'm going to do with these mermaids. We'll see what we're going to do let's just do the background first so we don't need black debating whether or not I should put gesso on here 
since we already drew it, I guess not. So we'll just play around with it and see how it goes with the... Um, Wouldn't have, I wouldn't have enough. <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't have enough flowers. No. <laughs> All right, so let me just see again what the background looks like. Uh... All right, so we've got some green. We've got some blue. All right, so I need a paintbrush. And I need a paper towel. No, I didn't buy any flowers. <laughs> no, no flowers. <laughs> You're teasing me. Teasing me. All right, so let's see. So let's see what these look like. I'm wondering that, oh, they have a thing on there. If they are um, like Jane's. If I've seen Finn use them, so they're really thick. Do I have clear gesso? Oh, yeah, I do. Where? Yes, I do. Good thinking, Eileen. There we go. Clear gesso I do have. Um, it's not the type I like, but this will be good enough. This is... Um, I don't like it so much because it's kind of gritty, but um, it's the only clear gesso I have, so that's what we will use. Oops, what was that? You can see it now better, too, that I've drawn it. And I probably should have put some paper or something on this other side. Oops, <laughs> just dropped something. Yeah, I had some Prima. I thought I had some Prima clear gesso, but I don't know where it is right now. So we'll just have to go with this. It's just that it's just really gritty. Not my favorite, let's just say that. <laughs> Alright, let's do the other side. be busy even Didi right Didi didn't stream this morning because she said she was busy too does she still have Cam visiting him her <laughs> it was nice to see him um, work with the Copics wasn't it So we'll have to dry this. You need some clear one? I really like the Prima one. Um, it's not as gritty as the Liquitex one is. All right, so we need heat gun. Yeah, it was a beautiful page, wasn't it, Mitz? Did he he didn't finish it, did he? Yeah, he is, Kimberly, yep. Heat gun. Let's take it after DDF. Yeah.
天说不完。See him that. I didn't see that. I only saw him when he was doing the Copic markers. Unless you like the grit or you need the grid for more texture. Um, otherwise, I prefer the Prima one. It's nice and smooth. Finnebar's one is really nice. All right, so this, I got that. Just in case. All right, well, let's try to use the lime green one, too. Hold on, let's go pick these up. Drop them on the floor. All right. I never used a heat gun before, really. <laughs> All right. Oh, you know what I don't have is a spray bottle. Oh, let's see. I have this little spray bottle. We could use that if we need it. Hi, Terry. <laughs> All right. So let's start off with just some green. Let's see, some greens and blue. I think this was on the background here. So if you came in, um, just came in, we're trying to do this picture, which I got off of Pinterest. And so it looks like it's got a lot of green, blue. So that's where we're going try to try to do the same background type thing. You love her heavy gesso? Yeah. I don't know if I have her heavy gesso. Yeah, I do, but I hardly ever use it. I really need to get her stuff out. Like I haven't used um, a lot of her stuff. But then we've all been so busy with watercolors that we really haven't been playing with acrylics. Like, I can't even remember the last time I played played with acrylics. All right, so. Oh, you know what? i got to open these. Oh, let's see. Just fast forward. I'm not going to get yelled at for not being prepared. But it was a busy day today. And I can't get this open. I need a knife or something. I can't wait to take your class. Um, so that's in like in a month, in like four weeks. Oh, there's a little thing here. What's well, nice, they have these little um, caps on here, so hopefully it doesn't spill out in shipping. I didn't have any problem getting uh, mine shipped. It's fine. All right, so there's that one. Let's open them all up before we get going. Never shows a brush stroke no matter how, yeah, paint you use on it. Mm -hmm. That one. <laughs> you have a good way of ha handling it if somebody yells at me? Okay, Ella. <laughs> Yeah, I've been told that on more than one occasions that I'm not prepared. <laughs> oh well. That one. Oh, I want to try this too. The Deco Arts one. I want to see what the difference is between this. And this should have a cap on it. It does. I picked this color because it's a really pretty color. It's kind of in between these two. This one is also cobalt teal hue, but it looks a lot different than that. 
So this is a green apple. Gesso, gesso is so that um, you use less paint. It's not as absorbent. You can um, blend better um, with the gesso. Pretty people who have nothing else to say. Yes, that's true. Yes, petty people, that's true. <laughs> not pity, not pretty, petty. <laughs> Yep, it primes the page, exactly. All right, two more, and then we'll get going. Yeah, so Gina, are you streaming again tomorrow? She did a swatching of her watercolors. Patty got some new watercolors, too. I really like those neon ones that she um, played with the other day, yesterday. That was fun. Oops, just dropped something. <laughs> okay. Oh, she had more room on that desk. <laughs> it's going to fall. There we go. All right, so we're going to use the blue and the green first, maybe even this little blue. And we'll see what this is. So what I'm going to do is, I wish I had another little palette thing here. Oh, I do. Good. Hold on. Yes, you're streaming tomorrow. Oh, that's good. All right, so, so let's see what this is like. Well, this is kind of soft, like it's... It's a little bit thicker than craft paint when it comes out, but um, I don't think it's going to be as heavy as these. So I don't know if you could see. Let's see if I could get this so you could see how it pours out. See how thick it is? It's almost like toothpaste. Do you, can you see how thick that is? Compared to this one, like you can see this one is running already. So that's the Deco Arts one. A little green. Oh, now that came out pretty, pretty smooth. And this one is like toothpaste again. All right, we got some of that, and let's put some of this in here. You like Patty's Bigfoot palette? Did you order one <laughs> off of Amazon, Eileen? All right. So, I'm going to come in here with this. Oh, you know what? I don't like this brush. It's really soft. Let's see what else I have. Um, let's try this one. This one's stiffer. Let's see. Let's put a little blue. It's really thick. I'll have to say that. That's for sure. And then this darker blue. It's super thick. It's almost thicker than um, Dina's paint. Like definitely I like to move it with the water, that's for sure. It's a pretty color though. Those are really pretty. Let's try some of this blue. Yeah, you definitely need water with this, that's for sure. You see that? What's the difference in price? Um, I'm trying to think what I paid for the Finnabar ones. Hmm. I'm trying to think what you charge me. The Deco Art ones, like I said, from Michaels are $2.99 for the same uh, same fluid ounces because this is 2.5 and those are 2.5. I can't remember what I paid for them. Sorry. <laughs> I'd have to go look on my receipt, which is downstairs, because <laughs> I just rushed up here to get it. I like the color, though. This will be pretty color with that unicorn. I don't know. Can somebody look and see what it is and tell me? 
what's the impesto paintings? You probably could find it like on scrapbook.com or um, Blue Moon. Need some more of this blue. She loves a glazing medium. Oh, that's a good idea. I had glazing medium here, too. It's really pretty, though, these colors, I have to say. Thanks, Rebecca. It's nice because if you're one that likes a lot of texture, like, you know, Dina Wakely, she loves texture. And if you wanted to make, you know, like, bumps and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Um, create, like, texture like that. It's really nice for that. Don't fall. Don't. You need the exact name? Mm-hmm. It's... Our, Art Alchemy in Pasto Paint. I have to be really careful now with this. <clears throat> I'm going to come in here. Six twenty nine. Thank you, Ella. Scrapbook.com six twenty nine. We're just gonna barely go here. We'll go back over that. <clears throat> Need some more blue. Yep, six twenty nine. Got it. A two. So. If you're into that, you know, like really having heavy body like that, um, texture and creating like, um, what do they call that? Not, not a caustic. You know, where artists like to see their brush strokes and it's like really thick and thick. But this is probably just as good. You would go with brown. Brown what? to just paint that um, tail part. <clears throat> yeah, impasto. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of it, like the dark blue ones and the other blue is was thick like um, toothpaste. And then some of them were pretty light. I mean, thinner like, you know what I mean? Oh, Joggles has them, too. Okay, that's good. So there you go. You can get them um, scrap.com, Joggles. The technique you ask about is impasto technique. Oh, impasto. Oh, thanks, Ella. I guess that's why she calls it impasto paint. <laughs> yeah, because remember when I used the uh, Sennelier paints? 
um, they use that like that too, like for more apostle um, painting. These three colors are really nice color. Oops, can you see? I'm off screen there. I can't move it over there. Here we go. I'm just going to do the horn again. I'll probably do the horn in uh, like a gold. Uh, let's see. There we go. He's cute, isn't he? All right, so, whoops, stuff on there. Um, trying to see where I can put this now so it doesn't get um, put my phone somewhere. Whoops. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, stick that there. All right, so let's see. What can we do here? Um, I didn't even have a chance to like really look for stencils or anything like that, so I'll just have to use whatever I have around me. <laughs> so let me see if I have any any good stencils here I could use. So hold on one second. Oops, <laughs> there goes my pad. Hold on. <laughs> let me see what do I have. I'm looking for like um, some type of ocean thing. I don't have that around here. Hold on. Let's see. We do have bubbles. I really want like a wave or something. Let's see if I can. Yeah, I really like the paints. They blend together really nice. Um, and since they're so nice and thick and you add the water to them, uh, you can, like, move, you know, move them around more. So hold on. This just kind of looks more like paving rocks or something. Huh? We have some of this. Let's use this. Uh, should we do that one? This one. So let's see if we could take. It's kind of dry now, but let me see if I could take some of this off with the baby wipes. How 
that works. Oh, I only got two baby wipes up here. One, actually. <laughs> All right. So let's move back there. All right. So let's see if we can get some of this off now. Oh, yeah. Comes off. Cool. your eyes why <laughs> why are you covering your eyes Probably should have put it on here a little sooner, but he <laughs> loves stencils. <laughs> yeah, Pat, I wish Patty would have given us a hint what she was coming out with this time. I love the mermaid ones, of course. She came out with last last time. All right, let's see how that is. That's a little texture, kind of like. Right over here. Because you want all stencils. <laughs> all right, let's take a another here. deserted <laughs> hi Ange <laughs> how are you feeling better I hope all right so we have a little something something on there you see that oh look and I got some stuff on there if I can get that off. Except for I don't think I have any more baby wipes. None! Um, I can't go over there. So, let me see if I just do it with the water. Well, I just have to paint it. Coming off there. Ah, oh, I almost got those on my pants. <laughs> oh, well, that's good. Well, that's not too good. Your poor mom. <laughs> but at least you're feeling better, so that's good. All right, so let's see. So let's dry this. So heat gone. A lot of it is dry already. All right. 
let's see. So it does have some purple and pink in here. Where's my phone? So let's get some of that on here. And then decide what kind of mermaids we're going to put on here. Oh, see, so it has some, some white in here. It's got some dark blue, purple spots like. We'll have to do them. All right, so. Let's get a little white in here. Oh, that white's really thick. <laughs> thick like um, toothpaste. going in here. I put it in some spray. Now you know why I still have some still have some color on my brush. So it looks like it activates the um, paint underneath. So see, it's not really white. I'm um, wondering if I should, let me dry this and maybe put the white bubbles on here instead. <laughs> All right, so hold on. So let me dry this. So he can. Yeah, they blend really nice. I have to say that. So this is Patty's, um, I'm probably sure it's called Bubbles. <laughs> Let's see. Hi, Grammy. So this is called, I'm sure it must be called Bubbles. Hi, Oh, I see spots. That's what it says. <laughs> I see spots. All right, so what I'm going to do is, oh, I wish I had a, stip, a stippling brush. Do I? Nope, that's not a stippling brush. Um, hmm. Oh, maybe this will work. All right, so I'm going to actually water this down, this white, a little bit. Just so that I can move it in here. And let's just... There we go, that's pretty cute. Got that on there? that conversation. Alright, so let's put some here. I wish I could move my... I don't, I don't have enough room like upwards here like to move it so you could see the whole page. There's something stuck here. Let's see. Let's 
this is as far as I can get it to go. I can't really get it to go that much further. So I'm just adding some dots here and there. So we want the seahorse to be like... Adding some bubbles. can't see that but I can't get it any closer than that but I had time to zoom in earlier I would have so there we go it's looked pretty good all right let's paint our little seahorse really thick, I have to say. And I think I'm going to mix this paint with this here. So let's see, this is not that one. This one, this is the unicorn hair, which is like a silvery gold. So I think I'm going to add that on there too. So this is the Sparks um, one. Oh, it's like really silvery gold. Can you see that? It's really pretty. All right, we need another brush. Oh, I wish I had a better brush. Let's try this one. Yes, this is paint. This is paint, but this is, um, she calls it her, um, it's acrylic paint. It's called Sparks. So it's got shine to it. It's like shiny. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, most of the sparks, I think they're all like metallic shine to them. I can't believe this paint is like really thick. Why do you guys try it? It's, it's thick. You love metallics?
You see? Is that paint good for painting with spatula? Yes, it would be. Yep, the spatula would be really perfect for this paint. Yep. Alright, so let's get a little bit more of the I'll have to come in here and refine some of these. I'm just trying to get the white paint on here for now. And then we'll do the horn in the gold. So let me put down some of this white for here. I really need like a, a thinner brush. I'll try to think of... Yeah, palette and knives. Yep, that's what that would be good for this. Yep. Yeah. By the eye more. So I'm just trying to see where I want to get this. Horn. Okay, so we have the horn there. So there we go. Kind of our unicorn. Use some of her waxes. Oh, I don't have I don't have her wax. Her wax is downstairs. <laughs> I think it's downstairs. Like I said, I didn't even have time to like really come up and like get everything set. So All right, so we're gonna put some of this unicorn hair on there. Just for wow, that's pretty. Let's see. Can you see that? That's really pretty. It's like very metallic. This is going to get covered with flowers anyway, this part here. I mean the horn. Yeah, I think I'm going to use my um, gold, uh, maybe my, um, not gold, but I have, a, what do you call it, um, maybe the watercolor, the gold one, the cure tacky one. So, just got some green blue. Uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, her metallic paint, yeah. Yeah, I, I was surprised when I found out that these were made in Hungary. Yep. All right, so let's see. Surprise, Jean! <laughs> they're teasing me because they're like, look, she's doing a sea theme. <laughs> Alright, I'm trying to see what I want to use for, um, like for her lines and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Let's use a little bit of this now. Don't freak, just a little bit of the pink. <laughs> oh, I wish I had better brushes up here. Let's see. Let's try this one. Just gonna give her some pink on her cheek. Ooh, that's very bright. I don't want that bright. I 
That's too bright. Mm, let me take some of that off. Too bright. I don't have any more paper towel. More, oh, what do you call it up here? Any more wipes. There we go. It's nice and light. <laughs> Pink. And we need some purple. Oh, the purple is down there. I'm just going to mix some of this pink with this purple. This blue. If I can. Kind of like a purplish. I'm trying to There we go. It's hard for you to see. It's kind of light, but it's kind of like a pink purplish color. And then what shall we do for the eyes? Uh, any? Let me get some lavender. I wonder if I should do her as big next she's big. Right, so I have a little bit of this lavender. Let's see what the light. This one's not open. It's not opened. <laughs> Actually I just need really just a little bit. Kind of cute. I mean, I might not be able to finish it all tonight, but we'll see. But I really like the paints. The paints are super everybody. It would be nice if we could do these flowers with a palette knife. Maybe that's what we'll do. Um, I want this lighter than that. So I'm going to add another bit of white. Where's my white? Come in here and I'll come over here with a little bit more, a little bit more white on top. You see that? I'm going to come in with just a little more white, I think. Wake up, Jean. <laughs> Wake up, Jean.
This doesn't really matter too much about here because the flowers are going to be here. Can you see that? Oh, thanks, Rebecca. Alright, so I did mention before, so remember, no stream for Father's Day so this Sunday. And then the following Wednesday, I will be regular time, not late like this time. Right, so, so that looked pretty good blended in there, and this is going to get covered with flowers pretty much there. Um, I almost think I want to make this head a little bit bigger. There we go. Alright, so that looked pretty good so far. I'm going to put a little bit more of the white, so when I put the gold, the gold will, will show through here. You see? So let's see about this over here. Getting some more color into into this background because this one has like um, purplish on the background. So I wish I could get it to like move more like this. Like it's got like purplish spots or something. And more seaweed. So maybe we need to get some seaweed in here next. So let's use this dark green. We'll put some seaweed. Oh, why did I do that? I need a bigger brush, but. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see. Then we'll have a big flower right in here. And then we'll put some more seaweed down and vines in here. What else have we got here? Cute little splashes. Are you going to do watercolor tomorrow, Jean? Seeing what she's up to tomorrow. Let's see, let's see. I'll put some up here. A little bit of water. 
时候，好大。You had two naps today, and you're still exhausted. Oh, it's gonna take a while, Ange, to get you know back. All right, and then we'll put one up in here. The clay dries will be trying watercolor ground over the clay. Oh, that's good. Watercolor instead, yeah. I might have to catch you like late. I have to um, be back at the store tomorrow for a little while. Green. Let's put some lime green on here as well. So we have some variation in there. You can see that. I know it's hard to see, but I can't get that. I can't get my camera down any further. So what time is it now? Almost ten o'clock. So what I think what we'll do is we'll try one of the flowers with the palette knife and see how that looks. I know you can't see anything. I can't help it. I can't, like, if I put my camera down like that, it's going to be crooked for a little bit. <laughs> oh, now you can't see what's up there. <laughs> Gosh, I can't get it right tonight. Okay, Ella. Hey, talk to you soon. And again, you can't see what I'm doing in the corner here. Oh, gosh. right there so we have that so let's put her eye in because this way you will have um, she'll look more alive let's do that ah. <laughs> Darn it. so let's see if I have some archive I did have my archival pin here last time do you remember seeing it <laughs> there it is Okay, Dot, thanks for coming. Let me bring you in a little bit closer. See, while I'm working on the face. 
There we go. Let's see if I move my camera up. There. So I'm walking, working on the little eye. There, it's coming a little bit better. You see that? There we go. Uh, Jen will be streaming, oh, tomorrow night. Okay, so Jen, if you're watching Jen, she is Scrap and Share. She's streaming tomorrow night instead. Definitely need some sparkle there. All right, so I'm trying to think what kind of, um, I wish I had a flower stencil. And let's decide what kind of mermaids we're going to put on this side. This little mermaid, so we're pretty small compared to our um, our unicorn. So let's see. I have to just push her on here. What do you think? Swimming down in here. Should we use a solid one? Maybe this solid one. And what color should we do her in? Wow, 3 a.m. for her, yep. I'm trying to think of what I do with that one. It's too big. We do her in hmm, maybe that purple, that dark purplish color, burgundy color. Let's try this. In pink? Alright, this one is called... This one is the aubergine, and I'm going to use a palette knife with this because you can put because this paint is so thick you can actually do it with a palette knife. I'll use this one now. So let's. Okay, bye, Ange. Feel better. All right, so let's see. Hopefully, hopefully I don't mess this up now. Oh, you know what? I need to put some. Um, tape on here so it doesn't go through the other part. Just purple, yes, yeah, you girls love purple. <laughs> So hopefully we have everything covered. <laughs> yes, it's American Girl tape. and Don't yell at me for using it. But I have so much of it, I'm never going to use the whole thing. Don't yell at me. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So let's see how this is going to work. Oh, I need some on here. Here, I'll use something else. <laughs> so don't yell. All 
already. So hopefully, hopefully this works. Moved it. What's nice through the stencils, so for now I need more paint. <laughs> you love the American Girl? Yeah, my Gabby had the American Girl. Send me your address. Um, email me, Allie, and I'll send you some. So I'm never going to use all this tape. almost like texture paste really seems like it's really nice for for that paint too close together but you just tape it off Eileen Too. See, I moved it. All right, let's see how that works. So I moved it a little bit so there we go look how nice that came out <laughs> just um, email it scraps to beauty at AOL now I hate to waste this paint so we should stick this somewhere else don't you think <laughs> so where is the remember I did a page back here somewhere with the yellow oh probably up more I'm not going to be able to do it. And plus I don't have my, um, I'm just going to stick it on here. You should have used her paste. But this, look at the paint. It came out nice though. Now that came out. See how nice that is? Now I need something in here so it doesn't uh, <laughs> it doesn't stick to the page. All right, I do need to wash this off though, so let me do that. Yeah, oops. Yeah, it is really nice for um, for that putting through a stencil. It's really good for that. Okay, Grammy, thanks for coming. Well, I think we're just going to try to put the flowers on here. And then maybe what we'll do is we'll um, finish this another, another day. Watch the hair. <laughs> Move the paint. What paint? This paint? Ah. Live dangerously. <laughs> Live dangerously, girls. <laughs> All right, I need paper towel. <laughs> I 
I don't want to get it stuck on here because it is paint, you know, and this is like heavy body paint, so I want to try to get most of it off if I can, especially on this thinner part. The crack it dries because it's so thick and it shrinks. Well, it comes off nice and easy off the stencil, so that's good. good enough for now. I can try to get the rest off later. There you go. It's not bad for now. Alright, All right, so let me dry that and then we'll put the flower on here and then we'll probably go. Now what is going on here? Why is that doing that? Hold on. Nope, that's not what I want. Hold on a second. There it goes. <laughs> All right, heat gun. <laughs> When did you get the American Girl tape? Um, I've had it for a while. Someone actually gave it to me, but um, I think the I think the tape is from uh, Mattel, not Pleasant Company. Like all my other stuff is from the Pleasant Company before Mattel bought them out. Um, it's still a little wet, but I want to get a uh, stencil. So hold on a second. My stencil here. I think I'm going to try to use my texture piece. So we're going to use this as a big flower and then flowers for the seahorse. So I still might put like my regular flowers, but I want to see if I could use this up before it dries up because this is the one that they sent me that is um, broke and I think it's it's almost hard. <coughs> oh, I like my last lozenger. It's still cool. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right, let's get a drink of water. We're going to put a big flower on this side. We'll put these little flowers here. And this is a Prima, an old Prima stencil that I had. I want one just kind of more medium. <clears throat> like a little bit bigger, but not quite big. Let's see. All right, I think I'm going to go with um, maybe this. Oh, not that one. This one. <coughs> two or three. Let's do this. We'll do two there. So let me move you back out. And then I'll put some texture paste here. Now why is that? This looks wet. All right, let me move you back out. Get that big one, so we'll see. Oh, this might be too hard. Mm. Let me put a little bit of water in here. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah. This I think is I think it's no good. This one it's too hard. Look at all that I I didn't use. <laughs> I mean, I did send me another one, but nope, hard as a rock. So, let's see what else do I? Oh, I have this. I'll use this one. Uh, whoop spackle. Yeah, I sold a lot of Gabby's stuff. Um, her American Girl stuff. Yep, she didn't want it. So I did keep. She has Samantha and Josefina. She has. Um, so I did keep those and some of the outfits, but a lot of them I I um, sold. So we have that there. Oh, look how cute. Use some of her. Oh, that paste. Oh, okay, yeah. We'll use it on this side. Just let me get the flowers in first. All right, so I have to dry this so that I can get into this part. So let me dry that first. All right, so hold on. Heat gun again. So we'll put some flowers here. Like again, again, I said I might use um, I might use I might use real flowers, but we'll see. <laughs> All right, so so I'm going to put the flowers here like this. Put three flowers. Put these four on here. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do it. I'll do it like that. So one, two, three. I only really want it just on. I'll just do those three. I'll see what else I want before I lift this up. Do I want to put another one on there? No. I guess this is three. Alright, so we have those three up there. I might put another one up there, but I gotta dry that first stuff. So. Heat gun again! <laughs> I'm going to add one more, one more up here. 
see if I got, um, I want one with like a leaf if I have it. Here, that one right there. Okay, so it's hard for you to see because it's white, but there's four four flowers on here now. Five, six, we might have to get another one on there somewhere, but good enough for now. I'm going to put one more down here. One more tiny one. So I'll either come back and color this, or I'm going to add some real flowers, probably. <laughs> All right, let's try this, and then we'll put, um, we'll play with one of her paints. Blue, either. We can either do the blue or the copper. Probably the copper. This one, the brass. Right, he can. Hi, Tony. What should we do with copper? I want to do her horn too. So let's see. Um, do I have any paste for gold? Gold paste? I don't think this is. Let's see how this marker is. We have the gold in there. I don't want to paint that with the gold. But where we should put the copper though? Let's see, what should we do? I'm trying to think if I need had another stencil or something. I gotta clean that other one off. Let me get some baby wipes. See my water? <laughs> Here it is. Here. I just want to clean my, my stencil off so before the paste gets all dried up on it. How surprising! <laughs> we were cause doing on um, something I found on Pinterest and it had flowers there. But what should we do the paste on? We need another stencil is what you have to put the paste through. This is a new paint from Finnabar. This is the new Impasto paint. See it? 
And this is her new paste. This one is the Patina Effect Paste. This one's a brass, and then this one's a blue, and then I have the mint green one. I actually put the paint, her paint through um, through a stencil here. It came out really nice. All right, so let's see how this is. Ooh, look at that. That's yummy. Look. Mmm. But we have to find something to do. Let me look at those stencils and see what we can put on there. If there's anything on here that I can use. Um, let's see. It's not like seaweed. There's just this little piece of seaweed. We could put some fish on there. <laughs> Looks weird. Uh, let me see. Uh, where's the other stencil I had? Um, hold on, I'm looking for the other stencil. Which I don't see it now. Oh, there it is. Oh, the other stencil doesn't really have anything. The other stencil is mostly just mermaids. Mermaids on there. So maybe we'll put the fish. All right, so let me get most of these off my desk for now. So I have some room. Colleen, look at this uh, Deco Arts Americana. Came out with their own. Um, it's called Premium, so it's supposed to be like better than the craft paint. So that I got this in Michaels, and it's the same 2.5 fluid ounces for 2.99. All right. So should we put some fish on here? Let's see. Shells? Uh, what did I just see? The fish. That's the only fish? Here it is. This fish I'm looking at. <laughs> we'll put one of these on here. If you can see. Yeah, you can see there. Alright. Again, I'm going to put the tape on. I'm not going to use American Girl tape. <laughs> I'll use this tape. This tape doesn't stick very well at all. There. What about the shape next to the leaf? The shape next to the leaf? This one? That's like feather, that one? This? Let's do the fish first. <laughs> Or the little seahorse? We, well, we got this big unicorn seahorse. Let's do the fish first. Ooh, that's nice and creamy. Ooh, look at that. That's cute. <laughs> we put another one on there. Put another one up here. That's cute, isn't it? <laughs> and then we'll have to put one more, maybe one more. One more up here.
There. Cute. <laughs> All right. Let me get the rest of this off of here. Would you like to use some of this? Let's try some of this um, alchemy. This one. Maybe we'll put this on our tail. So let's break this off. Yeah, it is nice, isn't it? It's really pretty. Ew. Ew. All right. So. What if we could, how about if we did our scales? Let's see. This fits right in here. Yes, it does. All right, let's dry that first. I almost touched it. <laughs> let's dry that, and then we'll put the put something on there on our tail. Heat gun. So maybe we'll put the scales, um, we could either do the blue paste, I don't know if it'll show, or we maybe we'll do the um, this one, the lime green, mm, maybe the blue, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> Let's do the blue. Use the green, but it's not like a nice green. See, it's kind of like a milky white green. All right, I'll do the green, Eileen. <laughs> these over there and then we'll put the scales on here we could even do the flowers in her hair too maybe we'll do the flowers in her hair in um, something all right so let's see. remember I moved it too so it's not going to line up perfect so I'm going to um, just do the tail first <laughs> green, okay, I'm doing the green. All right, so I'm gonna block off her hand because I moved the um I moved it. Oh yeah, the green blue is too close to the background. <laughs> All right, so we'll do the green. I can open it. Oh. Ooh, this is like, now see the one was kind of smooth? This is like a really, kind of like a uh, rough texture paste. The other one was kind of smooth, the copper, creamy, and this is rough. Like, it, I wonder if it's got like, yeah, this one has like sand in it a little bit. I don't know if that's going to work, but we'll try it. Yeah, it's very gritty. So... I gotta put a little bit more on. Oh, I gotta block this one here. So I guess that's um to do when they do the patina. If you were using all three for the patina, 
So maybe that's why. Alright, so. Oh yeah, can you hear it? It's gritty. Can you hear that? Very sandy and gritty. Ah, oh, gotta do the tail. Ew, <laughs> she says. Ew. Right, I'm going to move this tail up a little bit. Oh, I'll take that off. The tape came off. Very gritty. <laughs> all right. Hopefully that all went on there nice. Oh, look how cute that is. <laughs> all right. So let's wash that off. Put the top back on this. Then we'll dry that and we'll do something for their hair. I'm almost thinking we need to do this green in her hair too. Yeah, we'll, let's see what the blue one is like. If the blue one's got grit in it or if it's just creamy. Yeah, that's pretty, isn't it? Good call. Good call, Eileen. <laughs> With the green. Pull all this tape off. I really like this stencil. So we could do a lot with it. You can do the silhouette or like we just we did now with the um, scales. All right, I'll have to soak this after, but we got most of the most of the grid off. Because if it's texture paste, you definitely don't want to leave that on your stencils. And this definitely is like texture paste. All right, so we'll do her hair. Let me heat dry this first. So he can. We did squish that a little bit. Though. Mike, Trina. Yeah, yeah, I probably do. <laughs> <coughs> Um, seashells. You see what I did with those little seashells? We could put that on there. All right, so, oh yeah, kind of dry, pretty close to dry. So let's do her hair. So that's part of her hair. I don't want to get her face. So, oh well, that part's covered already. Where's my tape? So I'm thinking we should probably do gold. Don't you think we should do some gold for her hair? We could do the copper, but we already got copper fish. Night mitts! 
<laughs> so what do you think? Gold? Or should we go back to the copper? Waiting to see what they say. Gold or copper? Oh, you're not leaving? Okay, Mitz. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> okay, what color for the hair? Gold or copper? I would use one of these, but I think this is too, too liquid. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it's more like, uh, it's too thin, I think. Let's see what the blue looks like. If the blue is textured or creamy. Gold? <laughs> Let's see what this is like. Oh, this is creamy, but it's thick. The other one's kind of thin. This is really thick. Super thick. Gold. Okay, we'll go with gold. So, of course, I'm going to reach for my favorite. <laughs> This one, this is a stencil paste by Pent Art. Pent Art, P E N T A R T, which you can only get in the UK right now. Oh, if I can open it. I can put some Vaseline on this. There we go. All right, so I need a smaller, a smaller spatula. <coughs> All right, here we go with the gold. I'm already halfway through this gold. I've used this so much. I really love this gold. <laughs> All right. So make sure we get it in the right spot. Here we go. All right, hopefully that worked. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> Look at that. That's super nice. All right, make sure I get that all mixed up. So let's clean that stencil. I could have put it up just a little bit. Say like this part here I think is too too close to her face. There we go. Oh, I just broke my nail. Ow. That's nice, isn't it? We need to put something on her little uh, <laughs> chest there. Getting that off. All right, so let me dry that and then we'll look for some shells or something for that. So heat gun. Smeared a little bit there, but not too bad. <laughs> Heat more, but 
just trying to get to my let me get to my seashells <clears throat> pearls oh, I'm looking for the seashells <laughs> <clears throat> I have Kia's little quilt things too. Maybe we'll put that on there. All right, so let's see if I have tiny little seashells I can put on here. And something flat. <coughs> We actually only need one, right? Because it's sideways. <laughs> so let's see if we can find something that something that we can use. Nope. It's more like a, a triangle type thing. How about that? <laughs> Hmm? We have that one, or I have that one. Pink one? I don't like the pink one. <laughs> See if I have something a little bit more pointy. Let's try. How about that one? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't have any of those like uh, scalp ones in this bag. Let's see what this is. <laughs> That's no <all> good. <laughs> oh, here we go. That one's a little bit thinner. How about that one? And then we'll just draw a little line for there. I don't have any scallops in here for some reason. What'd <laughs> you say? <laughs> mm. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one. Because it's green too, like her, her outfit, so we'll go with that. Alright, so we need some glue. Where is my fabric tack? Well, I don't have my glue, which I can't find. Where is it? Well, we'll leave it there. Let's see if we put any of these cute little animals on here. We have this little sea turtle. Can you see? Sea turtle. Key gave me. I think maybe I'll put that down there. I know we can't see it, but I can't get this, like my, can't get it any closer than, let's see. It's out of the way. There. So we put the little turtle there. And then, what else did she get? Oh, I have a little octopus. I can put that in the corner. <laughs> um, it's a crab. Here's some more cute little fish. I have this orange one too. This is like um, a goldfish. I love the seahorse here too. Did you see the seahorse that she did? <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five. I think I'll have to save the crab for somewhere else. So how's that look? It's back. What's back? <laughs> All right, so I gotta look for glue because we gotta put these on. So I was looking for my fabric tag, but I don't seem to. I don't know if we could use this. Is this open? 
Of course not. <laughs> not the big guy. <laughs> They look cute, right, Kia? Alright, so I'm going to put this one here. you did those tiny little circles on there. Wow, that's tiny. <laughs> like this one with the big eye. <laughs> this one's got a big eye. What are you talking about? <laughs> a big eye there. And the seahorse, like it's hanging on to the to that. So it's like a little seahorse there. Oh, you like that? But the eyes? <laughs> They're like crazy. <laughs> I like the turtle a lot. The turtle's cute. So. Who made these? Kia. Kia made these for me. I still have um, the crab, and then she made me some um, bears and some other some other ones. But I kept all the sea ones together. Yep, Kia did. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got some stuff on there. All right, so definitely need some sparkle there. We have to do the flowers. Um, so I'm sure this is dry. So oh, I need to glue this down. So what time is it now? It's already 10, past 10.30, right? i got to get to bed. It's quarter to 11. So I still have a lot of work to do on this page. I want to sparkle up the unicorn. we got to fix the flowers up. A lot more flowers. So be a while still till this page is done. But it's a good start. I just I really like uh, Finn's, Finn's um, paint. And the, pa and the um, metallic paste is nice, too. So we'll definitely play with those again. So remember, no stream. Don't forget, um, Patty will be streaming on Thursday, the 22nd, for her new stencils. So keep an eye out for that. All right, so here, I'll bring you one a little bit closer so you can see it. I think it came out cute so far. <laughs> Not a bad page. <laughs> So there's the mermaid. I think she came out really cute. Love the mermaid. There's Kia's little octopus. <laughs> there's her fish. <laughs> yeah. There's the little seahorse. I mean, a little sea turtle. There's the unicorn. She's coming out cute. She needs a lot more work. And there's the seahorse and the fish. <clears throat> exactly, exactly, Jean. I don't believe in less is more. <laughs> uh, well, I had to use it, so. I mean, this would have been a cute page just like this, just a unicorn. But then I had to use the mermaid stencils. And then I've been dying to use these quilling things. I've had them so long that Kia gave me. So, and then I wanted to make sure that when I close the book... Like they're not in each other's way, so that's good. So, 
Oh, thanks, Bunny. <laughs> yeah, I probably went overboard with adding the quilt fish, but <laughs> the quilt things, but I had to use them, so. All right, so I love the texture paste. That came out good. Love the stencils. I love her paints. Her paints are really nice, so. So, yeah, so. So, still have to, a lot more work to do on the page, but coming along. <laughs> So thanks for hanging out with me. Don't forget Jean's on tomorrow. Who else is on? Is Emma? Emma stream tomorrow too. Thanks, Bunny. Thanks, Allie. <laughs> um, yeah, so I have more work to do on this. Uh, and who else? And then I, for those of you who are celebrating Happy Father's Day, have a good weekend. And then I will see you back here Wednesday at the right time, regular time, 7.30 Eastern. So... <laughs> Uh, and on a horse, not a unicorn. <laughs> uh, a uni horse, that's right. <laughs> Thanks, Colleen. All right, so I'm going to say good night. Thanks for hanging in. If you're watching YouTube and hanging in long, hung in this long, thank you. <laughs> All right, and then I will see you again. Bye. Thanks. <laughs>